Welcome back to Mid-Morning. Love of Paws helps rescue homeless and abused dogs. The group is also pushing for stricter animal cruelty laws. Angela McVeigh and Pat Henry are here to tell us more about how they're working to hold more pet owners accountable. Thank you both so much for being here with Thank us today. You. Why is this something that you're passionate about? I don't know. It's just my passion. It's my life. So this is what I do 20, 18 hours a day. So. You said earlier you had 30 dogs that you're caring for now, and before you even got to the station, you placed 12 dogs. I did. I did in a parking lot this morning. They went on to our, one of our rescue staff up in northern Kentucky. So, you know, and we, we will have more go this week. So but it's like a revolving door. They'll just come back. Not those, but other dogs will come in this week. So we always have a waiting list. When it comes to laws regarding animal cruelty, animal abuse, Kentucky's always kind of right near the bottom. Uh, yeah, what work have you all done as far as seeing that change? Uh, we've done quite a, quite a few things, but not enough. The, the, I think the biggest thing is getting these dogs off chains. Dogs don't live on chains. They're not ornaments in your yard. You know, either have them in your house or, or just don't have them, you know? Right. So, I don't know. So this session, there was some legislation passed about was. animal cruelty laws. How did that make you feel to see that get passed? Wonderful. It's a felony now instead of just a misdemeanor. So if you mistreat an animal, you're going to jail. Do you all think that'll have an impact as far as people knowing now that, that there is some real teeth behind that? No, because the people that really abuse and, and, and are mistreating animals, most of them don't care anyway. But, you know, and who are you going to get to enforce these laws, you know? That's, that's the one thing I, I worry about because we do not have enough law enforcement to enforce laws. But in Montgomery County, the laws are being enforced now more so than ever. So. Now, Angela, how did y'all come up with this idea for this walk? She did that. Um, so I met Pat several years ago and um, just admired her work. And I've always been a big animal lover myself. Um, and Sarge, the dog that we're doing this on, the run to honor, um, he just kind of touched my heart. I tried to get him a couple of times. I think a lot of people in the community tried to rescue him, and Pat was just diligent and kept on and on and finally got him. And he was, you know, had her for about three years before he passed away and, you know, finally felt love and a home. And um, when he passed away, it just kind of broke my heart. And I thought he just, he deserves so much more. And I was like, we need to do something to honor him. So I kind of came up with you know, Sarge's run because he unfortunately never got to run when he was young enough and healthy it's chained enough. Chained up. Right. And because by the time Pat got him, he was blind and in bad health. And I was like, we need to do something and hopefully raise awareness because he's just one of thousands that this mm. happens to in the state. And, you know, there's, he was on a frequently traveled road. So we all got to see, you know, you have to drive by him and see it and think about it. But there's so many out in rural areas that you don't know about that nobody's fighting to try to give them a life so if somebody has a dog like that chained up that they you know feed and that's about it should they just give you all a call I mean is that the kind of thing they're a rescue a call no actually they won't call you they yeah. will try to keep you from getting that dog they'll do everything to try to keep you from getting that dog so I don't know I, I, the laws have got to change but people have got to be educated that dogs don't belong on chains I mean if the dog's on a chain how's it protecting you yeah. It's no way it's to just, live. It's no way so to live. the run is this Saturday. It is. Yes. And what's the admission cost? It's twenty-five dollars um, to pre-register, thirty dollars the day of. And um, but if you can still come out and join us and support us, and we'd love to see everybody there. Thank, Thank you all for coming out and talking to us. Thank you, Thank you so, so much. much.